Hey guys, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music, audio gear, and vinyl reviews. Today we're here at NAMM again. This is Saturday, April 15th. We're going to take you through, give you a tour of all of the booths, live performances, the coolest gear you need to know about. Join me, we're going to have some fun, and why don't we head into the convention center and see what's going on. I wanted to document this because I'm over here at the uh, the Gator booth and I was just checking out some of their new cases, which I, I'm used to seeing some of these hard, semi-hard cases, but they got some new colorways over here. If you want to come over, come check these out. This one in particular is super badass in this green, kind of like army green color, uh, but these are semi-rigid cases, so not necessarily a hard case, not a soft case, but it'll protect your guitar against the elements. So they got this green, gray, tan. This one's super deluxe. Blue, this one's pretty nice too. Then you got your standard black for all the metal boys out there. Flight cases and then uh, over here they have some pretty cool stuff. So they're promoting their Gator Cable Works. So they got some super high quality cables, but anybody with a uh, home studio you're looking for a furniture rack, Gator Frameworks, Elite Furniture Rack 12U, which they have a, a headphone preamp in there. Um, it's taking the amp and dumbing down the sound a little bit. It sounds great, but you got space for all your rack gear and it looks pretty cool too. We're in the, uh, the drum section, which is insanely loud, and they have these whisper rooms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk in here, shut the door, and let's see how much noise it actually cuts out. Okay, here we go. All right. Wow, it's super quiet in here. Like, holy crap. There's drummers everywhere around me right now, but I'm inside this isolation booth. So I guess if I needed to test some, some gear out in here, like this keyboard, stand right there. I don't know why they set up right next to a, the drum area, but you can walk inside these uh, whisper booths. Matt has no idea what I'm saying because I'm stuck in here and he can't see me. So <laughs> ready? We're going to leave the whisper booth. Listen to the sound. Woo! We're over here at Sub Drum and they caught my eye. They got some cool sound system going over here. I'm going to let Larry kind of give you the run of the land and uh, tell us what they do. Thanks, Michael. So basically what we did is we came up with this idea of taking drum kits, regular drum kits, and turning them into a complete sound system. Subwoofer coffee table, full range speakers made out of the rack toms, and it's all in one nice package. And the coffee table's usable, it doesn't vibrate. We file patents on it because what we're doing is we're taking the speaker drivers and we're actually floating them in the head. Oh, that's part of the patent. You can take a look. Yes, sir. Come on over. If you look at this, Michael, 
That's a sub right there. You got an 18-inch driver dropped in that thing. Oh, damn. And, and it's literally floating in the head. And we've got it ported on the bottom. Okay. So you get maximum volume. And you can hear it. There it is. Yeah. And then these speakers have eight inch uh, full range. You can see. Yeah, ported on the back. Maximum volume. And studios, man caves, anything you can think of. Yeah. Thanks so much. We're over here with Hit Kit. Uh, their little travel kit caught my attention. I thought it'd be nice to stop over here and see what they do. Uh, we got JV, who's gonna tell you a little bit about what they're doing over here and give us a quick demo. Thank you very much, JV. It's the Hit Kit drum. You know, uh, drummers all carry around too much stuff and they get, some of them getting older. And so I thought put everything in a rolling suitcase, kind of modern. So you get a hi-hat, snare, the kick drum, you get a can, bell. While they last, the seat and the sticks, everything fits in the in the suitcase. It's on wheels, you never have to pick it up. Uh, it's $495, hitkitdrum.com. Let's get a quick little demo here. You a drummer? Take it with you wherever you want, set it up, you're good to go. It was $499, is that what you said? $495. $495 online, yeah, check them out.
over here at the Ultimate Years booth. I got my buddy Charles here. He's uh, an exhibitor with them and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what they do here. Hey, thanks for having me, buddy. Uh, yeah, I help out Ultimate Ears, uh, in-ear monitors for musicians. Uh, this year they're very excited. They released the brand new UE Premiere, 21 drivers, pretty insane. Uh, I only work for uh, the Ultimate Ears booth at NAMM, but I can tell you, I heard them just today. They're fantastic. 21 drivers of full sound. Like you can, I, when I heard them, I could feel, literally feel the bass. Myself, my favorite ear of choice is uh, UE11's uh, four drivers. Uh, I'm a guitar player myself, and I, I like to, that fourth driver for the bass. I like to hear that bass. Um, I, I first started using UE7's myself, and I loved it for years, but then recently got the 11th last year. I love it, but I'm really tempted to get those uh, UE uh, premieres. So it, it basically sounds like full live monitors in your ear? Oh yeah, it's, it feels like the singer's like right in front of me. Over here at Bullet Cables. They have some really cool classic coil cables. I just purchased one myself, super into it. We all right, we got Joseph here, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what they're doing. So here you go. Right on. Uh, Bullet Cable, uh, we've been around since 2003. We actually reintroduced the coil cable to the market. Back in 2003, we were the first ones to do it, and still here. It's uh, a lot of years of doing this show, so. Our cables are quite special. They're a larger, they're a larger relaxed coil. So the spindles are a little bit larger than you know others that you see out there. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, have a certain softness, nice pliable uh, PVC to the outside. It's our special recipe. Nobody does them like this. So we've been at it for a very, very long time. A lot of hot colors. The orange is great. Um, this has been a huge seller for us for those guys, those punk rock guys that love the orange amps. Oh yeah. I've been yeah, doing really yeah. good with them, so. So it's been fun. Uh, we've been at this for a very, this is my 26th NAM show wow. I've done. So it's been a while. We have some new ones too. We've, uh, we introduced these in 2020. Uh, the Thunder Cables are our straight models. We had a lot of guys asking us to do a non-coil cable because they have a specific sound to them. Yeah, a little, yeah. They have a little darker sound because of the way they're spindled and such. So we did a straight line that has very, very open frequencies. A lot of guys have been really, really enjoying this. Got a bunch of guys on, on tour with these two, so they've right done man. really good for us. So fun colors. We did the we did the crazy green color, kind of trying to do that kind of 80s vibe. Oh, yeah. The red, the purple, and the whites do really well. It's, it's been a lot of fun. We'll have a bunch of new stuff for next year too. It's gonna take the industry by storm. Right you on. see what we're doing for next year, so in January, so. Awesome. Uh, where can people check your products out online? Uh, you can get us online at bulletcable.com, and you can also look at your local area and see if you've got a dealer in your area as well. Yeah, so I just ran into Goat versus Fish. It's my first time meeting the, the myth, the legend, the brand, all the above. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about, about what you do? Goat versus fish. We could tell you about what we do or we can do what we do. Are you goat or are you fish? Uh, I would probably be a fish. Celebration for fish! Celebration for fish! Fish for the fish. Oh wait, that's a goat. It's fish for the fish. It's fish for the fish. Fish celebration for fish. Speaking of fish, what do you think of Fishman amps? Goat vs. Fish has this nice Fishman amplification for when we play the acoustication guitars or the electrification guitars at the Whiskey A Go Go with Green Jello on WTF TV and also live on Twitch. You can find Goat vs. Fish. What do you think of Fishman amps? Fishman amps. Uh, I like them. I like them too. Yes. Uh, what model do you like? 
Well, goat versus fish, ooh, the model number, it escapes us now, but we can tell you it has its own power. It has within it the power of goat versus fish. Even if you do not plug it into the electric fence, it can last four or six hours with amplification of electrification guitar and also the microphone double input for goat versus fish, master audio for goat versus fish, phasing, of course, for goat versus fish. Wow, it's a lot, a lot of goat versus fish. It's a lot of goat versus fish. <laughs> we, we hear that you, you have vinyl, is this true? Yes, I, I avidly collect vinyl. Uh, our cameraman, Matt, avidly collects. Uh, we review vinyl, turntables, pro audio, everything. Well, Goat versus Fish is knowledgeable about the verses of vinyl. For a verses. Pet sounds, Beach Boys, Beach, where the land meets the sea, where the goat versus the fish. Goats on the album, classic verses, classic verses. And then, of course, who hasn't heard of Country Joe and the Fish? Country Joe and the Fish, Fish album, total Fish album. There's lots of goat albums, there's lots of fish albums, but we do not so much like Pink Floyd the wall because it is a giant fence. A wall is just a fence for a fence sitter to sit on who hasn't chosen goat or fish. The fence sitter who hasn't chosen goat or fish, but you are a fish. Celebration for a fish. Yes, I am a fish, yes. Celebration for a fish! Oh, where'd my card go? It went somewhere. Here we, nope, that's not it. <laughs> All right, well, it was, uh, it was you, very- Have you lost your fish? I lost my fish. <laughs> have another, oh, that's a goat. Have another fish. Have oh, another fish. Do you have a pocket inside your towel? No, oh, goat versus fish is prepared. We have goat, we have goat for the goat. We have fish for the fish. We have, we have goat versus fish. We have goat versus fish. And we have celebrations. We celebrate the fish. Celebration for fish. <laughs> celebration for fish and for goat. If you are a goat, we celebrate the goat, but don't sit on the fence and follow goat versus fish. And it was written, and it was written. All right, guys, you heard it. Go follow goat versus fish. Makes you wonder how I keep from going up. That's a wrap. That was the last day of NAM. It is now five o'clock. They're doing the closing ceremonies and awards. Uh, today was, was a lot more smooth, I'd say. It was a little less chaotic, aside from us sitting in the drum section for a little too long and getting a <laughs> headache. Uh, what'd you think, Matt? Uh, I thought it was awesome. Today, we kind of got a layout for the land, so uh, it was a lot more organized. Got to check out some cool stuff, demo some equipment, some gear, uh, see some great live performances, and. Yeah, yeah, man, it was a good time. We spent a lot more time in the uh, the guitar area, so I could nerd out on the guitar gear. Uh, but also checked out drums, which was, it was loud, but it was pretty cool to see uh, some of the products they had there. Uh, we highlighted some some pretty cool brands that we found here today. And I mean, overall, it was, it was a pretty fun day. I'm not nearly as tired as I was yesterday. I'm surprised, like, my back was killing me yesterday, but we, we kept moving today. That was the, the key, so. 
overall success, again, smaller than previous years. But uh, we just saw Jordan Rudess shred on the main stage here, which was really cool since we're, I'm a huge Dream Theater fan. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next time, adios.